Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I have an 11 by 14 canvas that is already prepped with my clear duct tape on the back and my push pins. And I'm going to be doing a flip cup uh, with, uh, actually a multi-flip cup with some of Christina Welch's paints that I just got. Um, I like her paints a lot. Um, so this particular video is going to be all her paints. So I shook this up nice. Um, hmm. She might have a, yeah, and a little top on there, which is a good thing. That way it doesn't spill out. Um, but I always have tools at hand. Diesel, no. Diesel, no. Uh, 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 no, 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 come here, buddy, hey, no, ah, crap, of course, the minute I try to get something done, my puppy decides to act up, he is a very precocious five-month-old puppy, uh, which reminds me more of a two-year-old child with everything in the mouth, especially anything you shouldn't have. So I'm going to come in here and put a layer of um, this beautiful yellow. And this is called Christina's Laguna Shimmer. So we've got a little bit in each of our four cups and I've shaken everything really well. And to that, what we're going to add is some of Alan's Red Shimmer. And I I actually really like working with uh, Christina's paints. Oh, that's right. I got to remember, take off all these little lids, which is fine. It's good. There we go. So we'll put our little thing back on here. I wanted you guys to see the entire process of how I layer the paints. Um, I did ask Christina to put a little silicone in these. So what I'm gonna do is, if you notice, I turned my cup on the side and I'm just gently putting the paint in there. Uh, what this does is it helps you to get true layers of paint without them, um, oh, no, 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 okay, hi, guys, obviously, my puppy knocked over my tripod, oh, well, back to painting, and you, you behave, you little crap, so I'm going to come back in here and finish this cup off, and we're going to do this cup. And like I said, this is Alan's Red Shimmer. So, um, I love working with metallics. I love working with shimmer colors. Um, I love working with glitter. Um, obviously, being a girl, I'm kind of a bling bling girl. Um, so, I, uh, I like the shimmer in some of my paintings. Sometimes I like them flat, but... Usually I like them shimmery. And this is Silver Spoon by Christina Welch. I'm gonna give this one more quick shake. Um, and as usual, I've gotta to remember to uh, pull this out. You can see these are all brand new colors uh, that I just got in the mail today. I just opened them up today, I'm psyched. Um, so, uh, this will be fun to work with, fun to experiment with. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be doing sort of a mixed media deal. So I'm gonna put my red there. I mean my silver on top of my red. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna to be using a combination of probably a half a dozen greens. Oops. And I'm a messy little girl, but that's all right. Uh, I create my worst messes when I'm painting and creating, which is fine with me. Um, 
because I don't consider it uh, painting until I at least make a bit of a mess. Uh, uh out, buddy. Come on. Come on, bud. Let's get out of there. So now we have our silver, and now we're going to put our blue in. And I might add just a little touch more paint. We'll see. Uh, oh, jeez. Again, I forgot to take the little protective cap off. Um, it's kind of hard doing a video when I'm trying to babysit a puppy that's getting into all of my art supplies. Um, he likes to get a hold of tubes of paint and put his little teeth into it. So I have to make sure everything is out of his reach. It's literally like having a two-year-old. So now that we've got this done, we're gonna put our blue in here. Yes, Diesel, you're all big and bad. So we're gonna just, and if you look at these cups, you'll see how the colors are layered. Um, so I've tried to keep the colors so that they have an actual purposeful layer. Um, put a little bit more on this one. And a little bit more on that one because I want a little more blue. I happen to be uh, sort of a blue girl. So now we have probably two, four, six, eight ounces of paint here, which is going to be more than enough. Absolutely more than enough. So um, these should already have silicone in them, so I'm hoping for some nice cells with this paint. Um, but again, um, if you're looking for something that's pre-mixed and ready to go, Christina Welch's paints are amazing. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, and they're actually very reasonably priced compared to uh, other companies and their paints. So we're just gonna sit here and dump one, dump two, dump three, dump four, and let those sit for a second. And um, if I would thought about it, I would have thrown some silicone on here. I'm actually starting to see some cells, so this is really, really, really exciting. Um, I have not had as much luck adding silicone, but I think Christina has the knack for doing it perfectly. Uh, so we're gonna take this off. Um, just let it kind of pour out for a minute. Somehow or rather, I'm not getting as much yellow as I'd like. It seems to be stuck on the bottom, but that's all right. We're gonna sit here and play with this for a second and just gently tap the canvas and get some of this paint out of here. It will help immensely. And I'm gonna just do this. And I'm already loving the cells that I'm getting. And like I said, this is four of Christina Welch's paints. Um, I've got the uh, Laguna Shimmer. I've got Allen's Red Shimmer, Galaxy Blue, and Silver Spoon. So let's keep going and see what we get out of this. Finally, this last cup. And again, we're gonna work on putting some of these reds and yellows right in the center. And get some of this out of here. There we go. And there's still a lot of red and yellow left in these cups. Uh, but they're just not ready to come forward. So I'm going to just start working this around. Um, and I'm going to come down here to this corner first. Whoops. Uh, actually, I'm 
actually I'm gonna have to take it back down and work on this corner first because my paint is so close to that corner and every time you tip your canvas in a particular direction you want to remember to try to recenter your paint so you can actually keep um, some of the consistency and um, the composition in the center of the painting rather than have it going all crooked and cattywampus. And um, let's see, I still have a little white spot over there. So we're going to take that down over the corner. And then we're going to come back in here and take it down on this corner. And I'm going to again use my hands to control the flow of paint. Um, and get it where I want it and then work from there out. And then we're gonna come down here off this corner. There we go. And bring it back up to the center. And now I'm going to turn around and torch this baby a little bit. Um, and Diesel, what did you just get, buddy? Come here, come here, bud. What have you got? Can I have that? That is a glass bulb. Sorry about the distraction. My puppy seems to be constantly into anything and everything he should not be. Now, I did ask Christina to put silicone in her paints for me, and I got phenomenal cells. It's um, really pretty. I'm really, really liking the colors. I like the flow. I like the consistency. And I love how it's selling up. Um, let me see if I can bring this up to you a little bit. So this is what it looks like. Um, sometime with Christina's paint, less is more. But I wanted to do a true flip cup. Just a random flip cup and see um, kind of what kind of cells and what kind of images I would get from this. And I'm actually really liking this quite a bit. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it inspires you to do something fabulous. I hope that you uh, be bold, be creative, be daring, be fabulous. Be everything in the world that you can be and if you don't like something just remember that's an actual opportunity to change it out or to make it better or to even paint over it but it's only paint this is supposed to be diesel on the fun side and um, it's supposed to be therapeutic and relaxing so don't take it so seriously that you um, beat yourself up over it. All right. Have fun and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.